Good morning. Today we're going to be testing a Bateria Power MPPT solar charge controller. They reached out through the YouTube channel and wanted me to try this charge controller. And it just so happens I have a test solar panel, a spare battery. So I told them to send it out and we'd be happy to run it through some tests. So let's get it set up. So the unit we're testing today is the 10 amp unit and it's only capable of taking in 150 watts of solar. Now I say only because it is a smaller unit. This thing is very tiny in shape. Uh, it would be perfect to fit in your backpack. But the unit can handle 150 watts of solar, puts out 10 amps to your battery, and um, it fits in the palm of your hand. It's a pretty incredible little machine that we're testing here today. The solar panel you see in the box and in the video here is 150 watt. I don't know why the label says 100, but it's a 150 watt solar panel. And uh, if I bought this on Amazon on a flash sale for $67, I wish I would have bought two. And just a reminder, never plug the solar panel in first. You gotta plug the battery into the charge controller first. You get your parameters set up. And when you're ready, you plug your solar panel into this. Now I highly recommend putting some type of fuse in your permanent installation. But for testing purposes, I'm just showing you some inexpensive fuses. Um, I would recommend much better fuses than what I have here. These are strictly for bench testing. However, always want to have fuses in there to protect your equipment. And most, most important, you don't want to fire. This full side indicates that battery input Always connect the battery first and the solar charge controllers last. So when you plug this in, it'll power up and then there's an app you can get from your phone to go through the startup setup procedure so that you get this set for the proper type of battery. So the wind pretty much wiped out my voice, my audio on this, but what I was trying to say is on my iPad, there's a Bluetooth app that you got to get um, from the App Store. It's called Charge Pro 2.0. And before you can make any changes on the top right-hand side, you have to tap on Unlock. Then you can fully configure this charge control app, and uh, it went really smooth. So we're watching this in real time with a small solar panel and you can see, you know, we're in Michigan so the sun's it's quite off. It's, it's not a great direct path over us, but if I step in front of the solar panel, you see what happens to the solar output goes right down to nothing and we're looking at the Bluetooth, Bluetooth connection for the Bateria Power charge controller right there in the center of the screen. So uh, I'll move back out of the sun and let that panel take advantage of the full connection. Look at that. That thing, that solar panel I got off of Amazon, that is the real deal. Um, God, it was on a flash sale for 60 something dollars. It's just a 100 watt panel. But it has a incredible power. Uh, I can't even pronounce it. it. Looks like it's Dokio. But it's a hundred watt, uh, 18 volt, 8.3 amps max. Uh, 
I really can't complain about this for, I bought it just strictly for testing, but it, it does pretty good. This is a good solar panel for the money. Really good. I believe it's right at 37 inches square. Um, this would be handy on a couple of these on a van because they don't take a lot of room. And that little charge controller would top off the batteries in no time. As you can see, we are, we're putting out eight amps of power and the uh, charge controller, uh, it is really getting with the program. When that uh, sun is peak, we really get up there. All right. I think it's time to go make some coffee. I may want to speed this up. This is just a recording of the actual charge in process. Uh, overall, this was a 21 minute charge interval and I decided to speed this way up to spare you. So anyway, you can jump ahead through this charge thing, but at the end, there's something you want to look at and it appears that my solar panel was coming in a little bit on the hot side. The voltage was just about two volts higher at times and it was causing this charge controller to have a little issue with heating. Now, it never quit. It was just giving me a notice that it was getting too warm. So I ended up just tilting the solar panel a little bit to get that incoming wattage down, which brought the voltage down, and um, everything was fine. But this thing ran a full course, topped off the battery, and everything was happy. So uh, I think next time I would have went with a little less efficient um, charge uh, solar panel. Well, as advertised, this little charge controller is small, light, it's very efficient, and uh, it's under 40 bucks, which was a uh, really eye-opener for me because this is going to be really handy. I know there's people out there that do a lot of backpacking and dispersed camping, a lot of hikers out there that just need to charge up a cell phone or a GoPro, and this type of thing with a small battery pack could be very, very handy. So uh, I give this a thumbs up. This is a good product, uh, especially for the money. It's really hard to beat this. They make a full line of products out there at Bateria, uh, from batteries to uh, solar charge controllers, even larger charge controllers for uh, RVs and um, solar sheds and that type of thing. 
Just don't forget to fuse it and be safe.